I'm on a case, and for years, it's been a tough nut to crack. The victims? Unsuspecting members of the public. And the evidence? Right here. It's time to track down the owners who poo-poo the idea of picking up after their dogs. Don't get dung. Get dog. And this poo hunt isn't just for fun. It's a serious effort to clean up by a London council. In the past, you had to catch them in the act. But not anymore. I'm going to solve this crime scene using DNA testing. All I need now is to round up some suspects. Suspect number one, Annie, the old English sheepdog. She loves children, looking for food, and long walks with the other family dogs, Libby and Sophie. There are occasions when, if the girls run off into the woods, they may well do it, and, and sometimes we can't find it. Also in the frame is German Shepherd Husky Cross Misha. She's a rescue dog, and her hobbies include barking and chasing squirrels. The amount of mess that's left in the parks is, is ridiculous. And the final suspect is Todd the Labrador. He likes sunbathing and a good run. I have left one of Todd's poos lying about. It's physically hard to pick it all up sometimes. <laughs> Barking and Dagenham Council, who else, are inviting dog walkers to get their pet's DNA added to a database at this mobile testing lab. Hello, Gary. Hello, Carol. Hello, Pippa. Hello, dog. Right. You're having Pippa's DNA registered, aren't you, Carol? Yes, I am. This is a registration form that I've been given, um, and you put your name, your email, your address, etc., and then um, Gary will do the swab. Gary, you are the MD of Poo Prince, aren't you? Yes. What's going to happen? It's very simple. We're going to do a, a simple cheek swab on Pippa. We're going to capture some DNA cells from inside her, her mouth. Okay. And then what happens is we're going to send these off to the lab. That's going to build an individual genetic profile for Pippa. And in the event that offending mess is left behind, Pippa won't do that. Um, we can simply match that mess to a registered dog. Now, in Barking and Dagenham, they're going to make this compulsory for dogs to have this test done if they want to use any of their parks. So how can somebody tell if Pippa's been done? Well, now that Pippa has been done, I give Carol her her DNA registration tag. It's like a gold that is her... or green medal, isn't it? It yeah. is. It's like a badge of honour. How do you feel about having your own ba badge of honour, your own medal, eh? What do you think of that? Gary Downley's business is picking up the cost of testing 1,000 dogs during the three-month trial. In the future, this little mess could land owners with a fine of up to £150. But for now, first-time offenders will get a warning letter. And who better to explain how this is all going to work than the leader of the council himself, Darren Rodwell. Darren, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Pew. Darren, DNA doggy do's testing. Surely some people must say to you, you are two stops from Dagenham, as in barking. Well, some could say I'm barking mad, but I have to say I don't believe we are. For me, as a local authority, as a leader, I'm wasting, and this is, this is the truth of it, I'm wasting £2.3 million a year on grime crime. So that is dog mess, chewing gum, fag butts, fly tipping, all those sort of things. The majority of us want a really nice clean space to live in, and, uh, and what we're trying to do is find proactive ways where all of us can, can work together to make sure it's a nice clean space. With the suspect's DNA tested, our offending poo sample is sent here to a lab in, of all places, Knoxville, Tennessee. If the trial is a success, future testing will be done in the UK. Well, the results are in, and an offender has been identified. Good morning, Sally. Morning. I'm here because your dog's been found guilty of leaving a steaming landmine behind in the park. The DNA's been checked and it's one of Misha's. But I always pick it up. Well, she did run after a squirrel. I mean, it's quite possibly I missed that one. All right, we're going to let you off this time in the hour. Okay. In the future, keep an eye on her. Make sure you pick it up. I will. Misha, have you got anything to say in your defence? <laughs> 